Right, so I'm going to run you through how to fit an Essex So what we've done is we've drilled a hole here, an uh, inch and a half into the copper cylinder, um, and we've drilled a slightly bigger hole just around here. Right, so what we've got here is our flange, a couple of washers, and a nice little, looks like a coat hanger comes with the unit. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the little coat hanger into there. We're then going to put that into and we have to just push that and manipulate it round. So that's good to go. That's not going to fall in. You could let go. This hook will stop it falling in. We're going to feed on our copper washer. We've got two here. Okay, we want the one with the little hole, little hole on the side. Otherwise, we can't get it um, uh, on the inside of this tank. So what we do, we just feed that onto there. We feed the rubber washer onto there. Just leave that there hanging. In fact, let's leave it on the side for now. We're then going to spin this, let that go in, and we're going to just push this washer. Right, so that's there. We can see that copper washer is on there. We're now going to feed one of the rubber washers, doesn't matter which one. We're going to push that in, and we're kind of going to do the same thing. This is flexible, so we can push that, let, let it fall in. We've got it on the cut hanger, and then we're going to just push that and push it over. Try and centre it so we've got an even gap round. Right, so that's pretty centred. And then the next bit's pretty easy. We've done the hard bit now. We're now going to feed the rubber washer. So that's going to sit against the copper there. Okay, so like that. Centre it. Other copper washer without the uh, little slit down the side. Push that over. And then we've got this retaining nut. Okay, which just squeezes everything together. A compression fitting here, and then a slightly larger thread for this. So we're gonna push that over the edge and just slowly wind it until we find the thread. Phew. Okay, <laughs> and then you are ready for your connection. So we've got here a little bird's beak we've cut here. So this will stop air being drawn in to your hot feed for your um, shower pump okay and we will just push that over there and then we just push that onto there 